It's Mrs. Leffers reading Romeo and Juliet, Act 4, Scene 3. They're now in Juliet's bedroom. Juliet sends her mother and the nurse away, and she prepares to take the drug that the friar has given her. Remember, she wasn't supposed to take this until the next night. Her wedding got moved up by a day. So the plan to let Romeo know has to be changed. She's confused and frightened, but finally puts the vial to her lips and drinks. Remember, this is the potion, this is the drug that's supposed to knock her out and make her appear to be dead because that is now the plan. Enter Juliet and the nurse. Juliet, I, those attires are best, but gentle nurse, I pray thee, leave me to myself tonight. For I have need of many orisons to move the heavens to smile upon my state, which, well thou knowest, is cross and full of sin. Enter Lady Capulet. So the nurse knows that Juliet is married to Romeo. So the nurse, uh, Juliet is now playing the nurse a little bit. She's like, please leave me alone. I feel really badly about my sin, marrying two guys. But she really just wants her out of the room so that she can take the potion. So... Enter Lady Capulet. Juliet's mom comes in. Lady Capulet. What? Are you busy, ho? Need you my help? Juliet. No, madam. We have called such necessaries as are be hopeful of our state tomorrow. So please you, let me now be left alone. And let the nurse this night sit up with you. For I am sure you have your hands full at all this so sudden business. Lady Capulet. Good night. Get thee to bed and rest. For thou hast need. Um, exit Lady Capulet and the nurse. So Juliet's like, I don't need your help. Um, you and the nurse just go sit up. I'll be fine. I just want to be by myself tonight. Juliet, farewell. God knows when we shall meet again. I have a faint cold fear thrills through my veins that almost freezes up the heat of life. I'll call them back to comfort me. Nurse! What should she do here? My dismal scene I needs must act alone. So Juliet's starting to get freaked out and she, she's like, maybe I should call the nurse back. But what good would that do? Because I have to do this by myself. She can't know of this plan. She'll definitely spill the beans. Still Juliet talking. Come, vile. What if this mixture do not work at all? Shall I be married then tomorrow morning? No, no, this shall forbid it. Lie thou there. She lays down a dagger. So not only does she have this vial of medicine that she's like, what if this doesn't work? Oh my God. She also has a small knife, a dagger, just in case she needs it. What if it be a poison which the friar subtly hath ministered to have me dead? Lest in this marriage he should be dishonored because he married me before to Romeo. I fear it is. And yet methinks it should not, for he hath still been tried a holy man how if when i am laid into the tomb i wake before the time that romeo come to redeem me there's a fearful point shall i not then be stifled in the vault to whose foul mouth no healthsome air breathes in and if there die strangled ere my romeo comes or if i live is it not very like the horrible conceit of death and night together with the terror of the place? As in a vault, an ancient receptacle, where for this many hundred years the bones of all my buried ancestors are packed? Where bloody Tybalt, yet but green in earth, lies festering in his shroud? Where, as they say at some hours in the night, spirits resort? Alack, alack, it is not like that I so early waking what with loathsome smells and shrieks like mandrakes torn out of the earth, that living mortals, hearing them, run mad. Oh, if I wake, shall I not be distraught, environed with all these hideous fears, and madly play with my forefather's joints, and pluck the mangled Tybalt from his shroud, and in this rage, with some great kinsman's bone, as with a club, dash out my desperate brains? Oh, look. Methinks I see my cousin's ghost seeking out Romeo, that did spit his body upon a rapier's point. Stay, Tybalt, stay! Romeo, I come. 
This do I drink to thee. She drinks the, the vial. So she's got a lot of worries. The first of which is, what if this doesn't work? And I wake up in the morning. Oh crap, well I guess that's why I have this dagger here. The next of which is, what if I wake up before Romeo comes to get me and then I suffocate anyway because I'm breathing in all of this unhealthy air. There's no fresh air down in the tomb. And what if I'm really actually dead by the time he gets there anyway? What if I wake up and stay alive, but then I'm surrounded by all of these bones? Ew, gross. Also, Tybalt's body is definitely gonna be there. So that's something that I had to take into consideration. What happens if I wake up too early, surrounded by all this death, and I go crazy, and I start taking my relative's bones, and I end up bashing my brains in. Ah, she's like, I'm gonna do it, and she she takes the poison. So she's got doubts, she's got fears, rightfully so. Um, in the end, she finally takes the vial. And that was Romeo and Juliet, Act 4, Scene 3.